There are a lot of myths about the sun taking a holiday for one reason or another, and they rarely go well for anybody. Turns out we need the sun to, you know, live, and when it decides to take a vacay, people tend to object on account of the whole dying thing. One of the more noteworthy examples of this story comes to us straight from Shintoism, with a story about the sun goddess Amaterasu and her increasingly annoying younger brother, the storm god Suzanoo no Mikoto. Now, we're off to a good start when Suzanoo gets himself kicked out of heaven before the story even begins. Izanagi, our buddy from the Underworld video, orders Suzanoo to travel to the Underworld, and Suzanoo, not too stoked, to be told to go to hell, decides to visit his sister Amaterasu first and spend some time catching a raise to calm himself down. Now the problem is, Suzanoo has earned a bit of a reputation for trouble, so Amaterasu's just a little suspicious when he storms on by for a visit. As a show of good faith, Suzanoo suggests that they engage in a friendly duel of god-making. Unfortunately, the wind conditions are poorly defined, and after creating a total of eight gods, both deities proudly proclaim themselves to be the winner. In the course of their subsequent argument, Suzanoo loses his temper and throws a flayed pony into Amaterasu's weaving hall. Yeesh. So the shock of that gratuitous violation of hospitality causes one of Amaterasu's attendants to drop dead on the spot, and Amaterasu gives a resounding screw it and storms off to sulk in a cave. Now obviously, this is bad for everybody. Without Amaterasu's sunlight, the world starts to wither and die, and even worse, demons start leaking out of the underworld and wreaking havoc. To put it lightly, bad scene for everybody. So the gods decide they have to find a way to lure Amaterasu out of her cave before things get even worse. Their first plan is to put a whole bunch of roosters outside the cave so that Amaterasu will hear the crowing and think, ah, oh, gee, must be time for Sunrise. Predictably, this plan does not work, and they presumably fire whatever god came up with it. Their next plan is a little more inspired. So first off, they set up this mirror outside the cave, so that once Amaterasu comes out of the cave, she'll see her own reflection, and... Uh, it's not strictly clear why they thought this would be helpful. Then one of the gods who's actually been paying attention goes to get Ame no Uzumi no Mikoto, the goddess of fun, partying, and the dawn, and suggests that she lures out Amaterasu with a striptease. I'm not joking. Or exaggerating. Now, as the goddess of fun and partying, Amino Uzume is more than down to get naked if it means saving the world, and probably even if it didn't. So Amaterasu hears all the commotion outside, pops her head out of the cave, sees the roosters, the mirror, and the enthusiastically naked dawn goddess, and comes out for real. Read into that symbolism as much, or as little, as you want to. So the other gods promptly seal up the cave so Amaterasu can't pull that stunt again, and Amaterasu returns to her regular sun duties. Suzanoo is subsequently banished from heaven for causing the whole mess, and he wanders the earth for a while having adventures until he eventually gets back into Amaterasu's good graces by gifting her the legendary sword grass cutter. Yay! Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. Sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, the smiles returning to their faces. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Sun, sun. 